Tons. So uh, while we're watching right now, the UNC Board of Governors has approved President Margaret Spelling's resignation. We're hearing from them right now. Let's take a listen in. What we can tell you while we're waiting to hear actual uh, voices coming through those microphones, her last day will be March 1st. Let's listen in. To recap, I intend to step down as president of the UNC system effective March 1, 2019. All leaders are for a time. When I was hired in October of 2015, the board made their expectations clear, and over the past three years, my team and I, in partnership with the Board of Governors, our Boards of Trustees, our Chancellors, have met those expectations. I'm proud of the people around me. I'm proud of the faculty, the staff, and the students that make up the UNC system. I'm proud of our Chancellors, and I'm proud of the team here at the system office. I'm proud of the work we have done and all that we have accomplished. Together, we have defied national trends on affordability and accountability. Together, we developed a muscular and measurable strategic plan with institution-specific performance agreements and publicly available dashboards that has created accountability and transparency and laid the foundation for years to come. Together, we put a lid on tuition, implementing NC Promise, implementing fixed tuition for students who are continuously enrolled, and passing two years of no tuition hikes for resident students. Together, we strengthened each of our institutions, raising enrollments, raising graduation rates, increasing completions for underserved groups, including low-income and rural students. We are graduating more students in critical workforce areas and increasing external research funding. Our state's confidence in this world-class system is clear. The General Assembly invested in us with the strongest budget in a decade, and taxpayers have invested in us through the Connect NC bond, the first buildings of which have now opened for students. All of this has happened over the past three years in the midst of a changing landscape buffeted by the urgent issues of the day. As a system, we have adapted and evolved to meet the times. We've elevated the system platform and rebranded as the unified statewide system that we are. And we've used our platform to better tell the story of our university. We've brought together thought leaders from across the state to connect the education continuum like never before. Initiatives like the My Future NC Commission, our teacher preparation efforts, and the Financial Aid Study Group are examples of the statewide coalition we have created. I came into the position intent on creating a culture of higher expectations, and that shift is underway. But times change, and those changes demand new leaders and new approaches. I will leave proud of the contributions made during my tenure and forever honored to have served. I've been blessed with the opportunity to travel this state and meet its best and brightest. This university is the state's most important asset, its mightiest engine. The students, the faculty, the staff, and the leaders of the UNC system are among the most dedicated, talented, and inspiring individuals I have ever known, and they are the lifeblood of what we do. Great leaders. Again, that's UNC System President Margaret Spelling stepping down mid-contract. We'll continue to follow this story on our news app as well.